an asynchronous sequential circus is not clock controlled. So the states are always updated continuously. So this gives us an event controlled circuit instead of a clock controlled circuit. And in order to realize this, we need to have first that the graph is asynchronously realizable. We need to have the state assignment to be race free. And we need to make sure that all our functions are hazard free. That is, they contain all our prime implicants. So this is our canonical form of our sequential asynchronous circuit. So similar as before, we have n inputs, we have p outputs. Our next state will be functions of the inputs and the current state. And our output will also be functions of our current state and the input. The difference here now is that we short circuit what we previously had as a D element. So what we wrote as a delta here before, we now remove completely. So we just connect Q1 plus and Q1, Q2 plus and Q2, and so on up to QR plus to QR. And assuming that we have an asynchronous realizable graph, that we have a race free state assignment and all our functions are hazard free, it means that we can do this. Our race free state assignment will ensure that we only change one of these next state variables at a time and our hazard free realizations of our boolean functions will make sure that we do not have any transient behavior in any of our variables.